For today's video, we are going to answer the set of questions from 11 to 15 from Metrobank MTAP Math Challenge 2019 Elimination Round for Grade 9 and I'm going to show you the detailed solution on how to answer each question. On number 11, what is the sum of the roots of x squared plus 5x minus 7 equals 0? So to find the sum of the roots, we are going to use the formula sum that is negative b over a. And since we have equation x squared plus 5x minus 7, that is already written in standard form. So the value of a, that is 1. The value of b, that is 5. And the value of c, that is negative 7. So to find the sum, we are going to have negative and then the value of b, that is 5. And then the value of a, that is 1. So the answer will be negative 5. So this will be the sum of the roots. For number 12, if R and S are the roots of x squared minus 6x plus 4 equals 0, find R plus S minus Rs. So how can we find R plus S minus Rs? So let us write the equation that is x squared minus 6x plus 4 equals 0. And let us identify the value of A, which is 1, and the value of B, that is negative 6, and the value of C, that is 4. Since we are looking for R plus S minus Rs, so as you can see, so this will be the sum of the roots, and this will be the product. So the formula to find the sum, that is negative b over a. And the formula to find the product, that is c over a. So since we have a negative sign, we are going to have negative and then the value of b, that is negative 6. And then the value of a, that is 1. So negative multiplied by negative 6 divided by 1, that is positive 6. So this will be the sum. And then, the product will be C, that is 4, over 1, that is 4. So if you have R plus S, so this will be the sum, that is 6 minus the product, which is 4, that is 6 minus 4, the answer will be 2. And this will be the answer. On number 13, the roots of 2x squared minus 3kx minus 2 equals 0, where k is not equal to 0 is a constant, and the value of x is 3k plus or minus square root of 36k plus 16 all over 4, find the value of k. So how can we find the value of k in this set of question? If you can still remember the quadratic formula, that is negative b plus or minus square root of b squared, minus 4ac over 2a. So as you can see, the value of x is written in the form of quadratic formula. Meaning to say, the value of b square here, that is 36k. So the technique in answering this question to find the value of a, we are going to equate the value of b square equals to itself. Since we already know the value of b squared on the other side, that is 36k, so let us find the value of b squared on this equation. So the value of b, that is negative 3k. So let us substitute in this equation, that is negative 3k squared equals b squared, that is 36k. Negative 3k square, that is 9k square, equals 36k. And let's divide both sides by 9. So let us cancel this one. k square equals 36 divided by 9, that is 4k. So let us move 4k to the side of k square. So we have k square minus 4k equals 0. So let us factor this one. So will be that that is k 
and k minus 4. So let us equate to 0. So k equals to 0 and k minus 4 equal to 0. So the value of k is 4. Since the value of k is not equal to 0, so the value of k is 4. And this will be our answer. On number 14, the roots of x squared minus 6x plus 7 equals 0 are r and s, while the roots of x squared plus bx plus c equals 0 are negative r and negative s. Find the value of b. So what are we going to do to find the value of b in this question? First, let us identify the equation. That is, x squared minus 6x plus 7 equals 0. And then let us identify the value of A, that is 1, the value of B, that is negative 6, and the value of C is 7. So to find the value of B, we are going to use the formula for the sum of the roots, that is R plus S, that is negative B over A. So since we have a negative sign, and the value of B is negative 6, and then the value of a, that is 1, negative times negative 6 divided by 1, the answer is 6. So this will be the sum of the roots, that is 6. And then, let us equate this one to the value of the roots of x squared plus bx plus c. And that is negative r plus negative s. So since we have a negative sign, let us factor the negative sign. So we have negative times r plus s. So since we have r plus s, that is the sum, that is negative b over a. So the value of r plus s, we have 6. And then we have negative sign, that is negative b so this will be the value of B. And the value of A, that is 1. So negative times 6, that is negative 6. And then negative B. Let us divide by negative sign. So the value of B is positive 6. And this would be our answer. On number 15, List down all the roots of 2x minus 3 all over 3x minus 8 equals 5x minus 11 all over 4x minus 6. So to list down all the roots, let us cross multiply. Let us have 2x minus 3 multiplied by 4x minus 6 equals 5x minus 11 times 3x minus 8. And then let us use FOIL method, 2x times 4x, it will give us 8x squared. And then 2x times negative 6, that is negative 12x. And then negative 3 times 4x, that is negative 12x. And negative 3 multiplied by negative 6, it gives us positive 18. And then on the other side, 5x times 3x, it will give us 15 x square and then 5x times negative 8 that is negative 40 x and then negative 11 multiplied by 3x that is negative 33 x and then negative 11 multiplied by negative 8 it will give us positive 88 and then let us simplify let us have 8 x square let us add this one. It will give us 24x plus 18. And then 15x squared. Let us add. That is negative 73x plus 88. And then let us move this one on the other side of the equation. It will give us 15x squared minus 8x squared. Then let us write negative 73x plus 24x plus 88 minus 18. 
and then we have 15x squared minus 8x squared, that is 7x squared. And then negative 73x plus 24x, that is negative 49x. And then 88 minus 18, that is 70. And then equal to 0. Then after that, let us minimize the equation because the value of a, b, and c are divisible by 7. So let's divide the whole equation by 7. So it will give us x squared, 49 divided by 7, that is 7x plus 10 equals 0. And then after that, let us factor this one. Let us have the factors of x squared, that is x and x. And then what are the two numbers? If we multiply, we can get positive 10. And if we add, we can get negative 7. And that is negative 5 and negative 2. So let us equate this one to 0. So let us write here. So x minus 5 equals 0. And x minus 2 equals 0. So let us have x equals 5 and x equals 2. So the value of x is 5 and so I hope you will learn from this lesson. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.